What's up guys, I'm Lego Lord, and this is my workshop. So as you guys can already tell, this video is going to be different. This is going to be my room tour. So I, there were some of you guys asking in the comments of the last year questions answered video if I could do my Lego room tour. So here's the video, guys. So I guess we'll start off up here. Uh, I have a bunch of sealed sets up here. I have probably about 40 or so. I'm actually going to be making a video on those later. But let's see, I got some File First Battle Packs. I have some Mandalorian Battle Packs. Um, I have the ATST Raider. A few other sets other than Star Wars up here. And there's a bunch more in the back. But I have my sealed set collection up there. I'll be going more in depth in that video, probably coming out in a couple weeks, something like that. Um, and then here, this is my organizational system. This is the first set of it. So I have all my parts sorted in here. So like this piece right here, right here, like this square, this is like my Technic stuff. So I have a lot of my Technic up here, all of that stuff, gears, that kind of stuff. Got my um, axles all nicely sorted up here. Uh, here I have some snot pieces. Just actually did a video on how to use snot. So you can go check that out. I'll link that at the end of the video. Uh, here I have some plates. So as you can see, I got all my plates here. Uh, these are all sorted by piece. I have some more pieces sorted by color. I'll show you later. Um, more Technic up here. These are like Technic bricks and stuff. Uh, I have Technic pins here. So we got a bunch of that kind of stuff. Um, here we have bricks and slopes. So as you guys can see, we got the slopes down at the bottom. And then we got bricks up here. As you guys can already tell, not all the bricks are there. Because I actually have a lot of them sorted down here. We only have one in here right now, but this is where my two by twos go. I'm actually building a mock. I actually am going to give you guys a little hint. I might do a teaser video coming out soon, but I think I'm actually might be doing an Embarro mock coming up. So I know a lot of you guys like Embarro. So a lot of my filler right now is filled up in that project. But as you guys can see, we got a lot of my bigger bricks here. And then there was really nowhere else to put these. So. All my 2x4 plates, because as you guys probably know, if you're Lego builders, you end up with a lot of those. So let's start up here then. Uh, this is a lot of just random pieces. We have a lot of my more circular pieces up here. So as you can see up here, all of these pieces. We just have some random plates uh, down here. In these drawers, we have wedge plates. So all of my wedges are up here. Uh, down here we have more random parts. A lot of these are just random parts. Uh, they are remotely organized, so like all of my clip pieces are over here. Stuff like that. I have wheels down here. So it's all organized. Some of it's just more than others. Here I got all my tires. Uh, over here is a lot more weird parts. These are kind of, they don't have as many connection points, so like plates. Here are some rods. There's my lever pieces, a lot of other stuff down here. Uh, here's where I put all my tiles. So there's my jumper plates, two by twos, one by ones and one by threes, one by twos, one by fours, etc. all the way over here. Um, let's see, next thing. A lot of my overstock is actually down here. So any extra pieces and stuff actually like it sorted down here. Because as you can see, like here's two by two plates. This bin's like full. So I put all my extra actually down in my overstock. That way I know if I need any extras, I got those down there. So there's my desk area. That's where I do all my homework. Uh, here's where a lot of my bricks are. This is probably gonna be the thumbnail for the video actually. So we got just like bricks up here. White, I still gotta go through those and sort out a lot of those. I just organized all my bricks, so a lot of them aren't done yet. Uh, I still have to do red, uh, white, halfway through the blacks. I did the light gray and the dark gray, and then I'm halfway through the yellows. So, pretty much done. Here's Umbara right now. Starting working on the road. 
Some of you might know that if you're fans of the Clone Wars. And as you can see, all my filler brick. I had to build up a lot for like the hill, hilly area that you see on Umbara. Here's where a lot of my bricks are. So anything that doesn't go on there or doesn't have its spot on that wall goes in here. So a lot of the bigger plates that don't fit on the wall. All the way over here, I got like 12 main colors. Some of them go together. So like here you have um, olive green and then like the normal green together. Couple other kinds of greens. I have all my translucent pieces, bunch of different kinds of blues. So as you can see, a lot of different pieces there. Here's where also a lot of my bricks are. So like, for example, as you can see, I actually got these at Harbor Freight. So if you have a Harbor Freight by you, this is where I got these dividers. Um, the smaller ones, these ones were $9. And then these ones were 13. As you can see, I've taped one of the bricks on the outside with the kind of part in it. So let's see, for example, I can get this out. And yes, I do have a yellow floor inspired by Lego. So as you can see, just from the outside, here's where like I have my dark grays, light grays and browns. Those are the colors I have sorted in here. As you can see, there are, those are all my light gray plates. So a lot of those pieces are sorted on here. They all have the brick type. So like for the light gray plates, I've taped a one by two light gray plate on the outside. That way, when I'm going through here, I know what parts I need and where I can find them. Uh, down here, we have the larger plates. So there's like all my black plates. A lot of those are going to also be used for Mbara. It's probably going to be coming out this summer. I'm actually planning on going to Brick Fair, Virginia. So if any of you know what that is, come and see me there. Probably going to have my Umbara mark mock displayed there. As well as making a video on the channel. Like here, I have a lot of my brown pieces. Uh, so that's pretty much this area. So you got that stuff over there, overstock down there, and here is where I keep all my most of my bricks. Um, yes, I do have a UCS Millennium Falcon up there. Cool set. Anyway, down here, this is probably one of my favorite spots. This is my minifigure area. I've broken down all the minifigures to their smallest forms. So like, yeah, I've taken all the hands out of the arms, all the, the arms out of the torsos, the legs off the waist area. So, like, here I have my printed waists, and then I have my non printed waist. So, I have those there. Same thing here. I have my non printed, and then I have my printed. A lot of these are Star Wars pieces, as you can see. That's mostly what I buy my sets out of. Or I just go on Bricklink. It's a Lego selling website, if anybody didn't know, where you can like buy and sell individual Lego pieces. Do, 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 do. It's kind of like the eBay for Lego. It's so like here I have my torsos, Star Wars torsos, and then just other uh, random torsos, arms, hands, all that fun stuff. Capes and cloth. Just weird pieces. So I have like the weird molds. So like here's a creeper mold for a body. Chewbacca. All the weird molds. And then the small legs. Helmets. Head attachments. Heads. And hair. So that's most of it. And then I got also a lot of my customs I get from Clone Armory Customs. I also got these really cool custom printed arms from Hot Toys. They're kind of expensive because like a pair of arms costs like two and a half bucks. But I think I put the file first ones actually on my clones in my Camino mock. And I put the white ones for my phase one clones in my Genosis mock. And they make the figures look really cool. I also have my custom weapons in here. So like there's those. Stormtrooper blaster. I got some backpacks. There's a lot of cool custom weapons in there. So, Clone Army Customs, check them out. It's really cool. They make really nice stuff. So, like, here's what the arms look like on a uh, Phase 1 clone. They really make it look a lot cooler. So, I have just some random clones. I don't have a lot of clones working on that. Um, let's see, those are my custom helmets. A lot of them are actually going to be used on Umbara, also from Clone Army Customs. I have more. They're just actually being 
used in that mock, as you guys can tell. More custom helmets. Here's a lot of my file first troopers because yes, I bought some file first battle packs. Here's what the custom arms look like on a file first trooper. So those are really cool. Uh, so far I have I've opened two file first battle packs and I have five up here. One of them's behind. So if you're in the community, you know how big of a deal that is right now. So I think that's pretty much my room tour. Thank you guys for watching so much. Um, I'm going to have a video coming out later on my sealed Lego set collection. So like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.